And my husband doesn't know I changed it ten for a dollar because they're getting donated at the end of the day. Anyway, right. So. Get something for him. He's playing golf. I'll sell his books. There you go. There you Twenty dollars each. Yeah. Okay. There's probably a couple less expensive ones in there if you'll see some. Christmas cactus. Hmm. What's the camera for? Oh, I have a YouTube channel. Oh, do you? Yeah, it's called Cincinnati Picker. That's kind of cool. Yeah, it's fun. Was it called C Cincinnati Picker? Picker. That's kind of cool. Yeah. I got two of your hats. There you go. Thanks, sir. Thank you guys. Have a great day. Can I make a pile right here? Yeah, here. Start your pile here. Okay. <laughs> Here I go. One, two, six, ten, You sure? Okay. Yeah. Twenty, twenty one, twenty two. Sixty six. Six fifty. I was just gonna round it up to seven. I'm not worried about the change. Oh, thank you. And my husband doesn't know I changed it ten for a dollar because they're getting donated at the end of the day. Anyway, right. So Get something for him. He's playing golf. I'll sell his books. There you go. There you go. How you doing? Doing well. How much is this stuff here? Um, let me see. What is it? The uh, that's. Um, you can make me an offer on it. I mean, how about five bucks? Yep, yeah, sounds good. Cool. Thank you. Absolutely. There's also stuff that wraps all the way around the side. Oh, wow. And in the back. Oh, yeah, there's lots. We're going to do a yard sale every two weeks. Okay. Um, starting on Thursday. So, um, Let me look yeah. around. I've only got a 10, but okay. I can probably find some I've more. I've changed, too. Here, I can put all your stuff right here. Okay, sure. Thank you. Absolutely. 
Yeah, so I'll keep looking around, see if I can spend some more. Yeah, we have, uh, yeah, we're looking at a yard sale every, every two weeks at this point. So it's got a lot to get rid of, huh? We had a ton. It's a, it's a, we inherited an estate and um, a bit of a shopaholic. Yeah. <laughs> so she just had a little bit of everything. Okay. Also some. Yes, You got more stuff you're digging out? Uh, yeah, we're doing one every two weeks. Okay. Um, Any records, vital records? Uh, I, we haven't gotten that far in. Okay. We're looking, you're looking at out like maybe 20% of what we got. Wow. So it's a lot of work. We're doing one every two weeks. Pretty much until I have to go back to school, that's about it. All right, I got three right cameras here. What would you need for the cameras? Uh, $2 a camera. Okay, so that's uh, 11 total I owe you. There you go, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Good luck with the sale. Oh, thank you. We hope, we hope it'll go well. I'll try to stop back by when I see you guys have it again. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, every day, it's, uh, we, we start on Thursday. Okay. Every day, it's been a different rotation of stuff. Okay. All right. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thanks. Have a great day. All right, guys. It is a Monday morning. I did not have a chance to unload everything on Saturday. I think you guys are pretty much used to that by now. Saturdays are always really crazy. Lots of family stuff to do. So, I just got everything unloaded now and I got it all spread out. I'm going to show you guys what I found at the garage sales on Saturday. One sale I did really good. Um, they were cleaning out an estate and it seemed like they were just really overwhelmed. So they only had like 20% of the stuff out so far. I was able to find a couple filters um, new in the packaging. I got these for a dollar each. I don't think they're worth a ton of money. So I'm probably going to like pair them up and sell them as a lot of two. I think I might get about 30 bucks or so. Got three of these. Uh, watchdog house sitter timers for a dollar each i think these will go for about 15 to 20 each i really like finding new in the package stuff where i can do multiples i can just make one listing for these three it won't take me very long and they should profit 40 50 bucks at that same sale i got three cameras they're all zipped up here so i'm going to open them up and show you guys what i got this first one 
is a Sony, what is it? It's one of those ones where you put an actual like disc in, like a little CD, MVC CD 500. I've never sold this one, but the price is right. You know, all these are only $2 each. So anytime I can get a pretty nice like Sony Handycam, you know, almost regardless of what it is, for $2, I'm gonna buy it. This one right here is a little newer. This is a JVC Avario. Um, let's see, 30 gigabytes internal. That's pretty good, actually. This is model GZMG155U. I've sold a few of these JVCs before, similar, you know, Avario models. I want to say I got about 40 or 50 bucks in the past, so I was pretty happy to find that. And then last one is another Sony Handycam. This is a little bit older. Actually, hold on a second. This says digital still camera. Well, that's funky. This one might not be worth a whole lot, but at $2, it's hard to go wrong. Got a couple vintage hats at one sale for a dollar each. This one just has such a cool look to it. A vintage uh, PGA hat. Almost looks like a train conductor's hat with those stripes. That's a cool hat. And then this is a vintage master's hat. Got this for two bucks. Uh, this is a uh, Tyco RC battery and charger. I've done well with these in the past, typically $15, $20, something like that. And they're pretty quick sellers too, from what I've seen. I found this at a sale. I've actually sold this exact same thing before. This is a inflatable shark that you fly with a little RC controller. Um, they never used that. Everything's still in the packing, everything. The box is open, but it had clearly never been used. I paid a dollar for that. I think I'll get about 25 or 30. And then right here, this was probably my best find of the day. This is a ton of vintage sci-fi books. The lady had a sign and it said like a dollar a book and then she had crossed that out and said 10 for a dollar. And she said that she had done the sale Friday and not many sold. She was, she was wanting to get rid of them and she was planning on taking them all to the library, whatever didn't sell. So she's like, you know, whatever I can get for these is cool. I bought around like 65 and I loaded them up and then I started looking and found more. So I want to say I ended up getting around 80 of them, something like that. So for 10 cents each, it's it's just really hard to go wrong. I don't think these are going to be huge money makers, but I'd say there's likely some cherries in here. And something I did notice is that I've got multiples uh, from the same author. Okay, so like here's Harlan Ellison, there's Harlan Ellison. So even if some of these aren't worth selling individually, I can lot them up by author and I think they'll do okay. That's it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.